Hello, teacher Amanda here, and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a bit different. Normally when I come on here, what you see is me giving teacher tips, tricks of how to teach courseware. Now, today I'm doing something a little bit different. I'm actually going to do a little bit of technical training, so tutorial training on how to use ManyCam. Now, when I first saw ManyCam, it was a little bit overwhelming to me. Um, I used a Mac first of all, so I was like, Psh, I will never have to use ManyCam because ManyCam does not play nice with a Mac. But recently, um, an opportunity presented itself in a good way. I found out I was going to need to update my computer. Uh, my computer was rather old. It was starting to get really laggy. Um, I was getting to the point that I needed a new one. So, when I went to look at upgrades, I found that I could get a lot more computer if I bought a PC. Now, with that came the fact that I could now use a ManyCam. Now, I watched a lot of tutorials of other teachers using it, and I was like, gosh, that seems so overwhelming. But after I actually looked at it, I found out it's not so bad. So, I wanted to give you guys a first-hand experience of me using it. Um, the first day, just kind of messing around with it, and just kind of show you what I've discovered so far. Um, the first thing I want to say is that ManyCam does not have to be intimidating. Um, it is an overlay software, but it actually has some really cool features. So let me show you what I've discovered so far. So of course, this is the screen that you will come to. Um, right here, you see yourself. In this case, you see me. Um, this is where you sit. You just simply add a scene. So down here are what are called scenes. Um, you have scene one, which I've actually made into a be right back. Um, this is probably going to change for me. I think I'm going to change it into a slide that says, you know, teacher Amanda will be with you shortly, something like that. Um, I only will use it when I have a student that's not in the classroom instead of having to sit there with my camera open. Um, I've seen some teachers put like a sticky note over it or a piece of tape or something like that. And it just seems a little bit more professional to have something like this that would say, be right back. Our teacher Amanda will be right with you. Um, have the Dada ABC logo on it, something like that. Anyways, that's what I kind of plan on doing with that. Um, this, of course, is my second scene. I do plan on buying the full version of ManyCam now that I've actually seen it. I wanted to make sure to download it first and see what it was all about. Um, something that you'll notice over here is that when you have the free version, it leaves this ManyCam thing right here. Um, I don't really like that. It kind of is annoying. It kind of tells students, you know, I'm using a software. It's not just me being cool. But it is also pretty fun. So the second scene is over here. The reason I call these scenes is because you can change them pretty easily. They have a transition button. They have a cut button. Um, it means make live without having a transition. So what that would look like is this. Boom. Right there. And then I could come back here and go, boom. So, but with transition, it kind of fades in. Fades back in. So it's kind of more smooth transition. However, if you have a student come in, it probably would be better just to cut it to you. Um, so here are some things that you need to know about ManyCam. First of all, there is this cool little box over here that says Selected Effects. This is your favorite box here. This is where you make your layers. So really what ManyCam is doing is making layers of things for you. You obviously have yourself here, but you can also add things to it. So for example, um, the most important thing that I think I need to add to this right now, of course, is my Dada ABC logo. I actually got this off of the Facebook page, Jada ABC Teaching Fun, from another teacher. So it was kind of nice to be able to use it. Very nice. It is our new logo. Love it. Um, so it says Dada ABC, or just Dada on it. It can be moved around, so you do not have to leave it there if you do not want to. Um, for now, I'm going to, but I might move it later. So this is just one thing you can do. A lot of people are like, oh, I have to have the Dada logo. I don't know where I'm going to put it in my background. For example, me, this is a cloth background. <laughs> it is actually a shower curtain um, that I purchased for $12 on Amazon. We're going to straighten it out a little bit now that I've messed it all up. But it, that's what I use as my curtain. So I just wanted to make sure that it looks nice. Um, but I don't really know where I would hang a Dada logo. So for me, it just makes more sense to toss it up on my mini cam. So that is one way that you can do it. Um, another thing that is nice is you can add lots of things here. Um, over here, 
what you'll see is your effects. Now effects are really important. Um, this is where, I, of course, I got my Dada logo. I saved it to my objects and I just found it in the list that I have here. So I have the Dada logo, love it. I'm actually gonna put it as one of my favorites. Oh, this is so much fun. So glad I have this, it's so cool. Anyways, now that I've geeked out a little bit there, um, there's lots of things that I can do with this, of course. I can play games with it. I can say, what do you see? What do you see? I see an orange, mmm, oranges. Yum, 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 yum. <gasps> Mmm, yummy orange. Okay, so I can do that. It's super fun. Anyways, lots of fun things that you can do with that. But you can also add things like borders, which I think this is really cool. This is like one of my favorites. I love it. It's got little star thing going on. Not stars, but it's got little flags going on. Super cute. You can add it there. Um, of course, then you can move yourself down just a little bit so that it's not in your hair because, gosh, that would ruin that. Um, you can also add some pretty cool little face masks, which I think this is cool. I'm going to click this download all button because I do not like just the, the um, Hellboy mask. That's kind of scary. But what I can do is I can turn myself into a talking kitty. And that's pretty cool too. Um, I can see students liking this. Now, the cool thing about down here is if I want an effect to go away, um, this is, of course, the layers that my effects are in. I can move them around, but I can make it disappear. Now, I can also make it invisible. So let's say I don't want that there right now. I can make it just disappear, but I still have it available. So I could do that very easily if I wanted to play a game, for example. Maybe I want to have this scene set up before class. Maybe I want to put bananas there, make it go invisible. Maybe I want to put a lemon there, and then I'll make it go invisible maybe an orange but then I'll make it invisible some strawberries but I don't want to see them all the time so they're invisible maybe a watermelon but then make it invisible and then what you can do is you can play a game with your students hmm, what do you see I see a strawberry and you can say oh yummy then you can do the watermelon what do you see and you can play a game with your students this way. You can simply just make them appear and disappear at will. You can have them on there all the time, but you can make them invisible so it's easier to deal with. Um, for right now, let's just get rid of them. You just have to click the little X over here. And then there's other things that you can do, of course. Let's say you are talking about emotions. Of course, they have these. You can talk about being happy. Is he happy or sad? So those are some fun things you can do with this. Um, it doesn't have to be too crazy. But this is just some basic things that you can do with ManyCam. These are kind of like the, the right away things that I feel would be really easy. Now you can download things like pictures and put them here, which I'll do next time maybe. Um, of course, there's a few other things that you could do. Hello! You could say, hooray! You could say, let's see, I'm trying to get, oh, I'm clicking the wrong spot. You could say, bye bye. You could simply go to, wow. Um, things like this are super fun with your students. You could tell them, yes. So these are very fun things you can do. Simply making your Dada classroom more interactive, more fun, engage your students a bit more. Um, I'm super excited to see more about ManyCam. Um, when I get the full version, I'll do a bigger, better video about different things you can do with ManyCam. Um, I've seen a lot of great videos from other teachers, but being a newbie myself, I'm hoping that I can offer you a newbie perspective and we can kind of learn it about learn about it together. Um, if you still have not taken the plunge and jumped into dataabc.com, I really encourage you to do so. Please go ahead and click on the link below. You can go ahead and check out some of my other videos. You can go ahead and check out the ManyCam website, which I will also link below. Have a great day and we'll see you next time on dataabc.com. Bye-bye.